Man, this feels good. This feels good to be taking this group that is that has just done everything that we've asked them to do, and and to go out and have a 57 and five record, and to be going to the World Series with them, uh, or national tournament. I'm sorry, with them. Um, man, it feels really good because I was just sick to my stomach all week. The thought of being 55 and five and not getting to go to the World Series if something happens. Um, so I, I'm just I'm just extremely relieved because I know that this team will show up next week ready to play and will go out and give it their best. But I'm just, you know, getting out of this region is so tough. Uh, as everybody knows that follows uh, softball around here, it's so tough getting out of this region because there's so many quality teams. And, you know, congrats to Texas women's for the run that they've had. And, um, you know, it, it is, it really is. It's just a big, it's just a big sense of relief right now. And, and uh, Noah got a, got a lot of work ahead of us, but, uh, uh, we're going to enjoy this one. We talked about not celebrating the other day. We're celebrating now. I mean, we're having a good time. And, and uh, man, these two are huge along with their teammates. And I'm just very proud of everybody on our, on our squad. Kennedy, uh, Texas women's, obviously, they weren't going to go down without a fight. Just how did you, you know, when bottom of the seventh came up, just three outs away, just mm -hmm. how'd you do it? Well, getting those um, few runs just to give me insurance runs made me um, – very comfortable and confident in just the past four years of experience. Um, I just took it pitch by pitch and let my defense work for me. Can you also just talk about that feeling through that final pitch. You knew, obviously you knew where it was going. Let's talk about, you know, if you hit, once you knew that I was happening, so tell us, just give us that feeling. Um, it was just incredible. I mean, she's a very good player and just, just to get her out is, I don't know, it feels great. I mean, she's an amazing player. So um, when I saw it hit, to Danae at shortstop, I, I was just like, I know Danae has this. And when I saw Lex caught it, I just started cheering. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. Hi, girl. Um, Tegan, all right, you guys are, you know, going to the College World Series. Last time the Bells went was in 2010. I can't imagine what you're feeling right now. Just how cool is it to do it with a group that has just done so much I'm just really excited to be a part of this team, and we have a great group of girls. We have worked hard all season. We came in um, setting small goals, and we accomplished those, and then we also had bigger goals, but we knew we had to take care of uh, what was in front of us and not was what's ahead. Um, and I think that uh, that is like our success, like how we did it. But um, I'm just really, like, really excited to be a part of this team. Um, Coach, as you know, hitting is contagious. I think it was the first pitch that Alexis saw, and it was out there. <coughs> Yeah, but really, I mean, I know that was, and it was, it was a huge home run, but you know, this kid had the game winning RBI. This is the one that was huge. Uh, Alexis was, was icing on the cake. But, you know, you go back to start that inning, they score in the bottom of the sixth to tie it up on a big home run, and then Madison Greenwell comes out and leads off the inning with a base hit in the five, six hole. She's a, a power slapper. She didn't try to do too much. She took the outside pitch and went with it and didn't roll over and hit it back to the pitcher or anything. She did exactly what she was supposed to do. Got it in the five, six hole and the shortstop made a pretty good play, but she was too quick down the line. So you get a lead off single. Everybody out here knew that Bailey is going to bunt and she laid down a perfect bunt because she bunts that hard to one of them that are right there in her face. You know, they're going to try to make a play at second. And, and she just laid it right out there and killed it and just a beautiful execution of a sacrifice bunt. Uh, to put uh, Madison in scoring position for Tegan to come up with two outs. And, uh, and she hasn't had a ton of success this weekend. And to go out and get the big hit and, and stay confident in herself and get the big hit to score Madison and give us the lead right back, uh, that, was the, that was the key. And then Lex just, she's had, she, you know, her batting average isn't where it's want, we want it and she wants it. But man, she's had some big home runs. And that one there I know felt great. Uh, I didn't even see where it went. As soon as it left her bat, I just turned and I started celebrating with our fans and uh, because I mean just the, the joy and the excitement and the relief that comes out of your body at that point and so it's just uh, it's an awesome feeling and that's why I do this and that's why I love athletics and and uh, there's nothing else in the world I'd rather do. And Kennedy talk about what, what was it like for y'all having to uh, deal with uh, you know the weather situation yesterday and uh, you know having to finish things off today and just you know just uh, you know, just dragged on with how, how long it took for y'all to punch your ticket, but it seems yeah. like maybe that makes it even sweeter. I don't know. Yeah, um, yesterday, I don't know for everyone else, but for me it was exhausting just waiting around because I wanted to play so bad and um, 
when it was canceled, I mean, for me, I was just like, just get focused for tomorrow. We're going to do it the first game. And I didn't want to play a second game. I just wanted to get it done the first game. Jacob, so. what was your mindset going up to bat with the two outs, knowing that Madison was on second? Um, you know, um, I hadn't, like he said, I hadn't had much success in the in the box um, the past few days, and I knew I had that game. I didn't really have much success either, but um, I had, I think I had the right mentality. Like, you know, I went in there and I was like, I, I know I can do this. Um, I decided to take a few more pitches, you know, see it a little bit more, and find the one that I really liked. And um, so I just tried to try to fix my mindset, and I went in there confident. And I'm just glad I could do that for my team because I hadn't produced what I thought. I should have before, but I'm glad I did what I did. But I'm also more so proud for my team, um, my teammates. I mean, that wouldn't have happened if Madison wouldn't have been on. Um, so I'm like really proud of Madison, proud of everybody in front of us. And then Lex came in and then definitely closed the deal for us. So what I did was just I felt um, playing my part, and I'm glad I could do that. Okay, you talk about being on the mound with, with the fan support, you know, just there, even when you get over and up. <laughs> you grew up beside you, and then you know the final eyes were kind of there, still chanting your name. Mm -hmm. How great is that having that as a, as your as your backup? You know, um, when you're on the mound. Yeah, it's just a great feeling because I feed off the crowd, and when they're pumped up, it pumps me up. And um, yeah, I mean, we all feed off that energy. And after I gave up that home run, I mean, I felt awful, but we weren't out of it yet. We were tied. It was still zero zero ball game technically <coughs> since we were tied, but um, I had confidence in our team that we would come back and score. So um, I've been playing for so long that I know that if something goes wrong, you have to bounce back from it and just move on. And um, I just, in my mind, I was like, keep us in it. Don't let any more runs score. Just hit your spots and let our defense work. And Tegan, what were you thinking when they tied it up? Did you think it was going to go to the third game, or did you think y'all would come back and, and pull it out? I mean, we were kind of late in the game. We. Um, it was quick to the fifth inning in the beginning. Um, after she hit the home run, like, like she said, it's a 0 0 ball game. It could go either way. And I'm really confident in our team. Uh, we don't give up. We fight. We're a fighting team. And I knew that um, I had confidence in our offense. And I have complete confidence in our defense. So I knew that, that we still had a chance. We were still in it. And that we were not going to give up. Knowing that you're still in it and has a chance at a national championship, is that set in yet? Um, I don't, I was just like back here, but uh, I'm still shaking. My adrenaline's still going at the chills. But um, yes, it's, it's, I can't, I don't even have words. It's, yeah, it's going to sink in. <laughs> yeah, just wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Kennedy, obviously, it's really been a just a magical season for the Bells in general. But for you personally, setting a home run record, um, you know, getting the win out here today, and uh, it just seems like it, it couldn't set up much better for you heading into the CWS. Season. Yeah, um, it's just really emotional for me. I mean, these are happy tears, so I can't talk. <laughs> I'll talk. I'm just happy. I'll talk for um, What an unbelievable two weekends for, for, for a senior who's been a great player since she walked on campus. And uh, we knew in the recruiting process when we got her that we had hit the jackpot, and I think everybody saw that uh, these last two weeks. And, you know, I had a decision to make. Uh, you know, when I went to bed last night, it was stick with Brandy. They haven't really scored on her yet, and let's just try to uh, go put it away. But they'd, had, they'd started taking some pretty good swings off of her, and they've seen her a lot this year. So about 4 in the morning when I wake up, uh, uh, you know, uh, well, yeah, I don't sleep very well at night this time of year, Tegan. So when I'm grumpy every once in a while, you know why. Uh, it, you know, it just clicked. We got to go to Kennedy. You know, we just got to change it up. Uh, they've seen Brandy a lot. They started timing her up pretty decent yesterday and had some pretty good swings. The wind's blowing out is what it was supposed to do. It really didn't blow at all, but it wasn't blowing hard and in. And Brandy's an up ball pitcher and is going to get some fly balls. I thought, let's just keep the ball down and, you know, Kennedy's going to get ground balls. So, uh, you know, it turned out to be a great decision because of what her and her defense did. But, you know, we had Morgan. I mean, we had both of them ready to go, and and she just never gave us a reason to go to the bullpen. And that's exactly what you want out of out of whoever you choose to do it. You don't want to have to make decisions after that. If they'll go out and just do their job and and uh, and not ever need to go to the bullpen, that's exactly what you want. And that's exactly what Kennedy did today. And you know, if something were to happen and they would have won that game, we'd have had Brandy and Morgan both fresh, ready to go in game two. Um, so you know, it worked out perfect because of what they did. 
And then, you know, we can't forget the fact that the kid had a huge double uh, to give us the lead there as well um, in one of those first couple of innings. So everything, you know, I'm just proud of the way we played. We played, we played really well. Uh, we did a lot of things really good in a big moment, and that, uh, that should. I know it gives me a lot of confidence going into next week, but uh, I think our team's going to have that confidence as well. Capped off with obviously having that trophy in hand, and then who doesn't love a water bath or Gatorade bath? <laughs> Best shower I've had in a long time, right there. Best oh, shower yeah. I've had in a while. But uh, sometimes in the past, I've tried to run away with it. This time, I just took it because uh, you know I've been I've been blessed with a, a coaching career of. Now I'm going to get emotional. I've been blessed <laughs> with a coaching career of. This is going to be my fifth uh, national tournament, and you know majority of the coaches never get that opportunity and I'm I've had players that have been able to get me to to five of them now but every time when I leave that thing you know it's heartbreaking if you don't win it because you just never know if you're going to get back especially playing in this conference and in this region you never know if you're going to have the chance to get back so man I am just thrilled to be able to take this group and and get after it again next week and coach number one ranking and all going into this thing and considering what all y'all done this season are you not going to be satisfied without winning the whole thing? No, I mean, you you can't be that way. I know society wants to tell you that you're number one or you're nothing, and that's just not true, you know. Uh, to to win this conference, to win this region, you've had a hell of a year. And and uh, if we go up there and go 0-2, of course, it's going to be disappointing. It's not what we're shooting for, but it's not going to ruin our season. Um, but we're not going to go 0-2. We're going to go up there and compete and, and hopefully make a run. But uh, it's not national championship or bust. No, I don't have that mentality, but by God, I'd love to have another one. I'd love to put another uh, windscreen out on that fence that says national champions 2017.